Welcome back to Real Reactions. I'm Mary Malloy. I'm Alessandra Guaneri. And today we are reviewing This Is Us. I thought it was just us. No, it's This Is Us. So is it us or This Is Us? No, it's This, this Is Us. Seems like it just says us, but all right. Okay, let's find out what the people have to say. There's a family in our driveway. It's probably the neighbors. But y'all scared of a family? Hi, can I help you? Zora, put your shoes on. If you want to get crazy, we can get crazy. So you just got out of the movie Us. What are your thoughts? Honestly, uh, I loved it. Okay, but the first half felt like a completely different movie from the second half. So I, I thought the first half was very well done, but the second half I felt like he may have been trying to do too much. But I still like really super enjoyed it. Woo! A lot of thoughts. Uh, not that much headspace right now, but. It was a combination of all of them. I think uh, Jordan Peele, first of all, he's a, like he's mastered suspense, like already in his second movie. Like uh, throughout the film, like his use of score, I think the long, like the long pauses and the long takes, like really helped build the tension. But um, I think all the elements, I think the humor was good in terms of like, kind of easing everybody out of it. I still don't know how to process the film. Okay, I don't know. Seems like you're a little confused. It was great. Like, I think I read that it had like a um, 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. So I was really looking forward to it. And I think I would say it was a good mix of comedy and horror as far as genres go. It was an interesting blend. Um, the, the lines were really good, very funny. Um, there was a lot of like good comic relief in between and a good mix of horror. So yeah, it was great. Yeah. I think people loved it. Yeah, it was really good. Amazing. And what was your favorite part? Try not to give too many spoilers. Uh, my favorite part would have to be where, because the, I mean, it's pretty much, you, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but like they all had like doppelgangers of themselves. So when like the, the daughter killed one of the other doppelgangers from like the, the white family in the most unexpected way, and then everyone just like, ah! Yeah, it was really good, yeah. Have you seen Get Out? Oh, yes. Yeah, I saw it, yeah. How do you think this film compares to Get Out? Um, okay, it's actually really interesting because like the there's moments where I'm like Get Out was better and there's some moments where I'm like Us was better. There were some moments that Us definitely executed better. So you can tell that Jordan Peele is like definitely like learning. I feel like Us is on a much larger scale compared to Get Out, but uh, both of them are really great and similar within production design and all of their aspects. Okay, awesome. Where do you think the scissors came from? Oh, I don't know. Like, I I feel like when it comes to horror movies, when you really want to make like an impact to a scene, it's always either like knives or scissors. So maybe like scissors were like the next level, the next way up, like it was just something different than just like another knife or a dagger, you know? So it was, it just made things all the more creepy, I would say. Yeah. So yeah. What would you tell Ophelia? I would ask Ophelia to probably play some ACDC music, because I think that would go very well with that moment. Yeah, just go see it so you can understand what Ophelia is, so. Gotcha. Okay, and if you could dress the tethers in anything, what would you dress them up in? I would dress them up in what Halle Berry wore to the Oscars in 2008. That just came out of nowhere. I don't know. Probably something less threatening. Actually, no, more threatening so I'd be worn so I could run the opposite direction. They were very close to, like, jumpsuits. So I was like, okay, I'm getting like the prisoner vibe. So I'd probably go more orange. What did you think about the ending? The, end oh, the ending was a plot twist I thought was going to happen. And then there was a couple times I was like, nah, that's that's not even possible. And then it did happen. And then there's like, I don't know, because I was just on my phone like a little bit ago and there was like like minor um, twists that no one really ca caught onto. And now like it makes so much more sense. Um, 
I don't know. It's like one of those movies that you have to like read more up on and like why things are and like why things happen in order to like fully get it and understand it. The ending was pretty crazy. Not what I expected. Uh, something that I kind of thought about right at the beginning, but didn't really carry through. Um, and then it kind of came out of nowhere at the end. Okay. Do you think that this will be nominated for any Oscars? Huh. I would say, I think there's some pretty good performances. Lupita Yonga was really good. Um, so I would say she for sure. Um, I think it could make it somewhere in one of the categories for the Oscars. There, there is that potential. It could. I think going into this, I had a feeling Lupita Nyong'o was going to get a chance of, I hope I pronounced her name right. But um, I definitely thought she had a chance just because to play like two selves, very distinctly different individuals, especially on the same screen and like get it to work and be believable to like act and react. I obviously they're not she's not standing in front of herself doing it. So for her to react to like nothing and make it convincing, like I was terrified. And are you going to link up for Hands Across America anytime soon? Uh <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Hell no. What, do you have any advice for people that may want to watch this movie alone? Um, don't. Don't watch it alone. Don't do that. <laughs> I would be freaking out the whole time. Yeah. Please do not watch it alone. Don't watch it alone. Thank you. They look exactly like us. They think like us. They know where we are. We need to move and keep moving. They won't stop until they kill us. Then we kill them. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Real Reactions. I'm Alessandra Guaneri. And I'm Mary Malloy. And although our reactions may be ridiculous. And a little bit racy. They're always real. real. We're starting our link for Hands Across America. And you should too.